Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've gotten my hands on the brand spanking new Ramoa sunglasses. Uh, and in this video today, I would like to unbox these and share my initial review on these Ramoa sunglasses. So I picked up the Pilot Red uh, Crystal Mirrored Sunglasses. These retail for $350. I purchased these on the Ramoa website. And it does say limited stock, so I'm not sure what kind of limitations they have on stock. Some of the glasses were sold out. They do break them down between two different types of pairs. There's a rim and a bridge. Not quite sure what all of that means just yet, so I'm excited to discover what these look like and how they compare to the other style that I didn't get. So, like I said, I got the Pilot Crystal Red Mirrored Sunglasses. These are part of the Bridge Collection, and I'm just going to read out for you the description of these before we get started. So, these are modern shades that share a legacy of design, innovation, engineered with travel in mind. No surprise there, uh, Ramoa is obviously a luggage and travel company. Um, it continues to say, this aviator style Ramoa Bridge Pilot Crystal Red Mirrored Sunglasses are crafted from two pieces of mask, overlaid and assembled by pins. Hmm. I have no idea what that means. Echoing the trademark features of Ramoa's iconic luggage, spring hinges, adjustable nose pad, engraved logo, and mirrored lenses and handmade details. So it goes on to say that these are designed in Germany, made in Italy, kind of got an Apple vibe to it, you know, designed in the USA, made in China, so that's interesting. Um, so let's take a look at these glasses that I picked up. All right, so let's go ahead and get this opened up. Have you heard of the of these new glasses? Have you seen them online? I'm curious to know what people think. It says made in Italy, bridge pilot crystal red mirrored. So it looks like they shipped me the correct one. All right, let's see how I get this opened up. All right, so nothing too fancy, just some cardboard. I've opened that up to some Ramoa tissue paper. All right, so let's see what's going on here. So after unpacking it from the box, it comes in this textured plastic bag uh, that seals. This might actually be waterproof, which is interesting. And as you can see, it says Ramoa along the top here. So let's get this opened and see what the glasses are all about. So there's the glass, uh, the sunglasses pouch here, or the case, and uh, a little pamphlet with uh, Ramoa Ira on it. So let's just open this up. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, all right, manufacturer's information sheet, sunglasses for general use. Uh, these sunglasses protect against the risk of uh, damage to the eyes caused by exposure to sunlight, blah, blah, blah. Um, limitations on use, so these are not suitable for directly viewing the sun uh, or solar eclipses, didn't plan on doing that. Um, goes on, cleaning, storage, um, nothing um, that interesting going on in this booklet. And then it just, you know, repeats the same information in a ton of languages. Now, the other interesting thing in this sort of pamphlet that came in the bag with the sunglasses is uh, on this side, uh, I'm not sure if you can see this, but I'll get a view of it for you. Uh, so it just goes on to describe the Ramon Eyewear collection is defined by lightweight shades that share the innovative design and signature features of the namesake luggage. Frames take their cues from early aviation and pilot essentials, much like Ramoa's iconic aluminum grooves inspired by the world's first all-metal aircraft from the golden age of travel. So they're really sort of selling these uh, to be very much aligned with obviously their brand, but more so the um, aluminum luggage. And what I also find interesting uh, is down here at the bottom, there's this sort of grid of graphics. It goes from zero to four 
um, with uh, clouds all the way to, you know, somewhat sunny, sunny, very sunny, um, to uh, this level four where it says level four you can't drive. So when I was actually looking these up online, I noticed that the UV protection for the particular pair that I've ordered online, it describes them um, as UV protection 3P. And I'm not sure if this P refers to polarized or not. However, they do sell um, glasses that have polarized in the title for $50 more at $400. So it is a little bit confusing online whether uh, or not, you know, these $350 pair is polarized or not because of this sort of 3P that is in the UV description. To highlight that confusion even a little bit more is when you go to the UV protection code for the polarized pair, it's also listed as 3P. So um, I looked up online uh, to see if I could find some different codes for UV protection and I wasn't really seeing anything with a P in it. Um, so again, I'm not really sure what that means and why these glasses and the ones that had polarized in the title are described in the same way. Um, I did try to call uh, the Ramoa customer service line and um, I actually tried three times. The first call was dropped immediately. I ended up getting through to somebody on the second call. Uh, but that was subsequently dropped as well. And then I did try a third time to call the Ramoa customer service line. And that point, uh, they were describing that they were having some issues and they weren't taking any calls. So I didn't really pursue that any further. All right, so before getting to the main event, uh, I just wanted to remind all of you um, to check out, if you have not yet checked out my um, initial, um, uh, initial review and unboxing of the Ramoa aluminum groove case. Um, I'm still using this phone case and I uh, might do an update video on that, but uh, I'll throw up the link for this video in the description. Uh, so please check it out if you haven't yet seen it. All right, let's put this away and get these glasses opened up. All right. All right, so there is a magnetic closure on the case, which is actually super nice. Wow, so interesting, very shiny. All right, so there is some more paperwork, um, a cleaning cloth here, in the, uh, and they have the nice, uh, their nice logo sort of embossed at the back of the case, which is kind of nice. This does uh, have some weight to it and, you know, seems like some decent quality case for the glasses. All right, so what are your initial uh, thoughts and um, opinions on this. Oh, wow. Yeah, these are very, very interesting. So the design of the, of the, how these two lenses come together, um, and they're kind of described online as frameless. I don't know if I would describe them as frameless, but these are definitely very, very different. So you can see that this lens here comes, this piece extends, juts out, and then it's connected by four pins to this other piece, this other lens on the side. And um, I must say these glasses are very, 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 very light online. It says that they are 0.8 of an ounce. All right, so before I try these on, I'm gonna just open up the, um, get the cleaning cloth just so I can handle these a little bit more easily because of the mirrored finish. I don't want to, um, you know, get my fingerprint all over it. I don't want to open this up. And like I said, there were these two little packets in um, within the glasses case and these uh, are labeled uh, Tilios, Tilios. Uh, and I, I, just looking that quickly up on my phone, it looks like that is a company uh, also owned by LVMH. So not too sure why those have been included. I would imagine that these are the people who manufactured it for Ramoa, um, all under the LVMH uh, umbrella. So curious that that would also get included um, in, with the glasses. Um, so. Another detail to, to sort of point out here on the glasses is the, um, the sides are all made of steel and the construction of the lenses, it's very, very unique. I'm actually very surprised 
and it's very difficult to describe so I'm um, you know I'm not surprised that they had a tough time of describing that on their website but I would describe them as a frameless pair of glasses in which the lenses are sort of connected together at the top here uh, by four sets of pins and then again with this sort of bridge this little stainless steel bridge um, and then the little nose um, buds here are uh, coated in some sort of plastic so they're comfortable so and as you can see I got a red mirrored finish I'm not sure how that's showing up um, on camera but uh, there you go. So I have not owned a pair of I have not owned a pair of aviator glasses in you know quite some time. So I have no idea what these are gonna look like. Once I throw them up, uh, please comment down below if it's a go, if not so much, if I need to return these and get a different style. Let me know what your thoughts are. So let's give it a shot and see what these glasses look like. All right, it's not so bad. They are quite. Um, they are quite dark, like it is blocking out quite a lot of light, which is nice. So like I said, these were labeled UV protection three. Three is described in the paperwork as very, for a very bright sun. Um, so yeah, please comment and tell me what your thoughts and opinions are on these glasses. I can't emphasize how light it feels like I'm not even wearing anything basically, which is, Definitely a new feeling for sunglasses, um, you know, despite my other sunglasses being pretty light as well. 0.8 of an ounce is very, very light, um, which is kind of nice because then you, maybe you won't get those grooves on your nose after wearing sunglasses for so long. Now, just going off the fact that these are frameless, so the uh, each of these pieces of lens is one piece that's connected by these pins uh, to the other side. Um, so I'm not sure how well you can see that, but just sort of reflecting on what that means for you or for me to have these and wear these glasses, if you scratch, I guess, the lens or, uh, you know, the lens, the lens gets nicked or something, it's not like you have a frame where you can then pop out the lens because this is all one piece. I think at that point you'd have to just buy a whole new pair of sunglasses. So I'm not sure if that's the case, but that's kind of what it seems like. You know, these are so these. This is a lens without a frame. So again, if that got scratched or nicked, I think you'd be, you know, up the creek. So there you go. All right guys, so there you have it, the unboxing and my initial thoughts on the Ramoa, insert long title here of their name, Pilot Bridge Mirrored Red Aviator Sunglasses. Um, let me know what you think uh, in the comments down below. So far I'm, you know, I'm kind of living for them, having a moment here. Um, they are described, one last little thought before I go, they are described as unisex, so uh, these are for men and women. So there you go. Alright, thank you so much for checking out this video, and until the next one.